simple number 66 is entitled the human being in the perfect thought climate i think this symbol is very beautiful in comparison to the previous symbol now we see that the different areas at regions are in pure colors we see this area is green it is not invaded by other energies this is the region of brain and nervous system here we see a yellow area the yellow color symbolizes the feeling energy and everything is in order there is no lung disease no heart disease no cardiovascular diseases no disease in glands and blood system and here with orange color we have the meta metabolic and digestive system there are a perfect health and here we have with the blue color the intuition the region of the sexual organs and with the indo indigo color it is the mineral region of the human body that which is penetrated overshaded by the energy of memory and we also have the muscles and skin they are symbolized here on the bottom of the symbol of course we have muscles and skin all over and this is also penetrated and overshaded by the instinct of energy and it's also in a perfect health this is not a perfect human being but this human being is thinking in a perfect way and is very healthy sometimes when people are sick they would really like to know the cause to their illness and they don't know why they are ill but in general Martina says that if you are pleased and satisfied with life you you think life is wonderful life is beautiful you do not get angry you are not criticizing you live in peace harmony and love you are relaxed you are humorous and so on then you would have no diseases but when you are disappointed you when you are angry when you feel lack of self-confidence when you worry too much when you are too angry when you are having per perverted thoughts when you have abnormal and sick thoughts and so on then you are turning ill so in general the medicine is to be happy and pleased and satisfied with life all Martinus cosmic analysis have the same result and that is everything is very good there are things that are very unpleasant but these things are necessary in order to develop us every time when we have suffered we can feel with others every time when we have had problems illness we get compassion with others and that's the same as neighborly love and in order to feel happy you have wants to be have been unhappy so there is a purpose with the darkness there is a purpose with the sufferings the illnesses and Martinus puts it very simple if you make a mistake and life had been constructed in such a way that it gave a pleasant effect you wouldn't stop to make mistakes but the whole universe is constructed in an ingenious way and it is constructed in such a way that every time when you make a mistake it gives an unpleasant effect so when we make mistakes in our consciousness it leads to illnesses but the purpose is just to show us that we have been thinking in a wrong way so illness actually can also be seen as something good because it stops us to go on thinking in a wrong way so in a way it is a protection against falling into the abysm so Martinus he can look upon the uh, so-called uh, unpleasant in a positive way to Martinus you can divide all experiences into two groups and there is pleasant experiences and there are unpleasant experiences of course pleasant experiences are good but unpleasant experiences are also good so then you can see that everything is very good pleasant and unpleasant things are very good and when you have thoughts of this type that you can see everything is very good or at least if you could say everything in my world is very good 
I have sufferings and problems, but that's okay, that's good, because I'm learning from it. So if you get thought climates like this, everything in my world is good, everything in the whole universe is good, or you can understand, even though there are wars, illnesses, problems in the world, it's good to have this cosmic understanding that everything leads towards the light, everything leads toward perfection, everything leads towards God, everything leads toward the light. So when you have these kind of thoughts, you are in a healthy state. But if you get angry with life, you are turning uh, into illness. Martinus also talks about unnatural fatigue. And if you think there is something wrong in life, you are losing life force. If you think you are treated in an unjust way, you feel like a martyr. You feel that you are a victim of the circumstances. And that is a wrong attitude towards life. The best cure is to take responsibility for your own situation, to take responsibility for your own fate. So the best cure against lack of energy, lack of life power, is to say, I am responsible for my own fate. I am responsible for my own situation. You lose energy by feeling as a victim. If you are in a difficult situation, you think that it is your husband on your, or your wife who is the cause of your illness, your parents and your children, or your boss or your colleagues, then you try to change the other people, but you can't change them. You can try, but it's impossible to change the consciousness of other people. Then you could change your own consciousness. But why should I change? Because I'm unguilty. You cannot see your own faults and errors, and that's good to start to look upon your own weak sides. And instead of blaming the others, you can start to work on your own consciousness. And what is leading to the perfect health is pure Christianity and practicing neighborly love. Before I'm leaving this theme, I would like to point out two details on the symbol. Martinus has drawn two sexual poles. Here below we see the sexual pole and here we see the opposite pole or, or the um, secondary pole. Martinus says that uh, both poles, the sexual pole and the intellectual pole, are sexual poles. If this is a man, this is the masculine pole and this is the female pole, the intellectual pole. If this is a woman, this is the female pole, and this is her masculine pole, or the opposite pole, or the intellectual pole. The biggest surprise in Martinus' cosmology, I think, is that there have been men and women, and there are men and women, but in the future there shall not be men and women. There shall only be double-poled beings. And I think that men and women are looking more and more alike. Men and women are making the same things more and more. They are going to have the same jobs, the same activities. So it's easy to see that the difference between men and women are diminishing. We are looking more and more alike each other because the man is going to be double-poled and the female, the woman, is going to be double-poled. And Martinus is talking about that when you are double-poled being, you are day-conscious in both sexual poles. And he talks about there is some nerves growing from the sexual organs towards the brain, and there are some nerves growing from the brain downwards towards the sexual organs. But Martinus is not talking about physical nerves, but he is talking about some spiritual nerves that are growing towards each other. And when these two poles are meeting each other, you are getting a double-poled living being then you are not a man or a woman anymore. You are a double-poled being. And a double-poled being also is able to love its own sex. So in order to practice neighborly love, you have to be double-poled. You cannot love your neighbor as much as yourself 
or as high as God, as long you are single pole being, because then you have a preference for the opposite sex. So the evolution is leading towards perfection, towards the double poled being. And the double pole being is a Buddha being, a Christ being, or a godlike being. And the purpose of the whole physical world is the creation of man in God's image of his likeness.